So I've just been up to collect some uh, big rock. It's in the front of the bucket is a massive piece of rock that the uh, front entrance way is going to sit on. So we've got a bit of nice weather this week, so hopefully we can make the most of it and uh, and get this, uh, maybe the entrance way fitted and maybe a row as well. And then uh, we'll be covering up the winter. So I'm just going to get this uh, rock dropped off roughly in place. It's going to go on the end there. I don't know what the orientation yet, we'll just get it dropped off and then I'll move it about the tractor. So yeah, we're going to make the most this week and then we'll be covering up and uh, probably moving on to other projects for the winter then. Right, let's get this dropped off. Somewhere about there. Like that. Okay, go and get another two. Just, I've just gone and got this stone that was on the uh, side of the track. I've been eyeing it up for a while. It looked a lot smaller when it was where it was. So I'm going to split this in half because I've got this one here for that door post, which is perfect. You know, that's just about the perfect size for a post to sit on. And this one here is just uh, too big. So I'm going to drill it down through it and then wedge it, split it in half preferably. I think it should sit pretty nice, nice flat top to it, really nice stone. Okay, let's split it. All right, I've got some holes drilled in this. See if we can uh, see it start to get a crack. I don't know yet, might need some more holes. Okay, got it. Excellent. So the split edge will go up against the wall. Great, really good, pleased with that. Didn't take too much, just had to get some nice bits cut into it where I can get the wedges and I mean I destroyed those drill bits but they were old drill bits anyway so I'm not too fussed. Okay, that's good. Right, got the first big stone in place. I had to cut the bags a little bit to get it as far over as it needs to go but that's okay because um, I've got the uh, stone right up against them now and like that will all get plastered and filled in and this side looks really nice too mine's up real nice nice flat top to it so now I'm going to get those other two in place and then start thinking about how to uh, move that big entrance okay I'm getting somewhere now the tractor can lift this but it just doesn't have enough weight to uh, to hold it up because the back just lifts up so I've got the mower on and I got 80 litres of, uh, of veg oil on there as well trying to help me not tip over and that seems to have done it so doing this on my own if I had a couple of people they could hang off the back of it but yeah I'm on hard ground now I'm getting somewhere I've just got to manoeuvre it get it on the post and then shore it up and I can actually get somewhere so really really pleased it is going in got a bit muddy so i just have to wash that off but that's all right looks like it's going to fit too which is always a plus so let's uh maneuver this around and see if we can get this done before it gets dark because i've been at this all day
I'm going to leave that for now. I'm tired. That's enough for the day. I'm just yeah, going to just shore it up and make sure the tractor's locked off and get it finalised tomorrow. I might trim that side down a bit. looks a bit high. Make some adjustments and stuff. But gonna, yeah, like I say, I'm going to do it tomorrow because oh, just knackered now, really. Yeah, I'm really pleased that it got that in. It's looking way too tall so yeah it's gonna come down a little bit yeah but yeah cool go on tomorrow okay well it's in place and up there so i've packed in these two bags here now i'm gonna put in one of my mountain brackets which is one of those things with all the nails in it the stainless steel rod that go through all the way through tie into it Let's get that drilled and fitted and then that should be going away to holding this up so I can get the tractor back because currently the tractor is just holding it in place. Yeah, let's get that mounted and then we start filling in to the other side. That's the goal for today. Let's get the door filled in up to it and then, you know, get the tractor out. So I'm having to do this by hand without the tractor. Um, get it filled in and then it'll be stable. windows overlooking the roof they would have been the roof would have been a little bit high so we've sorted that out now and I'm just putting this back bracket back on filling a bag here and we'll try and get the tractor back okay it's in uh, got some shores on it to keep it up that's holding it up filled in there so now should I fill in the other side and get a fixing in the other side we should be good Okay, so I've got the door filled in. It's held in place by the bolts going into the wall. It's all safe now and everything. So uh, sorry I didn't get more footage of actually uh, fitting it in place. It was just such a difficult process for me to do. I couldn't concentrate on so many different things going on. So we'll just show you the progress as we go along. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks great. I've got a nice big opening there. Should have a double bifolding door. Smaller opening there, nice hobbity little look to it, really good. So I'm going to continue on, I'm on my own now this week, so I'm going to continue on around there and get another row done, hopefully all the way around the building, just in this last week of good weather, probably before the winter sets in, so yeah, carry on. So that's going to be the end of this video, and then we're going to be doing some more bags. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>